हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गो टॉक अबाउट ऑक्सिलरी इंजन पेडेस्ट्रियल बियरिंग ऑयल चेंज प्रोसीजर ऑफ द हिंडाई हिमसेन इंजन हैविंग स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ फाइव एच ट्वेंटी वन बाई थर्टी टू दिस इज द पेडेस्ट्रियल बियरिंग विच इज प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द फॉरवर्ड एंड सेक्शन ऑफ द इंजिन pedestrian oil bearing change procedure is to be carried out when the engine is in stop condition and is isolated after that at the bottom of the pedestrian bearing there is a drain plug provided which should be removed and as the drain plug is removed the oil will be drained which we can see that whether the whole oil is drained or not by the side glass this side glass here this side glass from here we can see that the oil is been completely drained or not after making sure that the oil is completely drained and no oil is seen in the side glass we will pour some fresh oil from the top from here we will remove this plug and we'll pour some fresh oil and we will flush out the system means what do i mean by that we will pour some 1 liter or 500 ml of oil and we will flush out the system to make sure any dirt or dust accumulation inside the bearing should be removed after making sure that the oil is been system is been flushed out we will plug this drain valve and after plugging the drain valve now what we will do we will pour the fresh oil now how much amount of fresh oil we should pour we should pour the oil such that it should cover the 3/4 of the side glass it should be in between the half to 3/4 of the side glass it should not be full okay now the question is asked why it should not be full it should not be full so that during the round we should make sure that there is a oil in the pedestrian bearing and we should not get confused that whether it is fully empty or fully filled while taking engine round means while passing from here taking engine round we should monitor the temperature of the pedestrian bearing means basically this port in from here this port is basically a thermometer port a temperature is been seen from here thermometer is placed and we will see the temperature which should be around 48 to 55 if the pedestrian bearing temperature is above 60 degree it means something is wrong and we will not only monitor the temperature we also monitor the oil level the oil level as i have told you should be half to 3/4 so by monitoring the temperature and the oil condition we can come to a conclusion when the oil to be changed basically the pedestrian bearing oil should be changed in a interval of 1000 to 2000 running hour and it should be replenished time to time now the another question is that which type of oil we should use we should use the some generator oil means auxiliary engine some oil we can also use in some in some engine that is that is in this engine we are using the some oil in some cases we can use the hv32 or hv68 oil so depending upon the specification mentioned in the instruction manual of the engine we can choose the type of oil and we can change but we should not mix the two different grade of the oil that is make to be sure so i hope in today video you have learned how we will change the pedestrian bearing oil if you have any doubt please do comment below i will revert back to you and please do subscribe and share our video with your friend with the marine groups so that they can also come to know about this channel
प्लीज फ्रेंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर हैव अ गुड डे फ्रेंड प्लीज बी सेफ